Monday Scrum. Hello and welcome to our first finals edition of the Monday Scrum. Before we get stuck into for blockbusters this week, Woodsy, you're out, but... The positive of that is you get Mad Monday. I'm surprised you're even here. Mad I thought you Monday. might have been no, on a three-day bender. No Mad Monday at our club. Oh. Got banned. Oh. Got banned. Got banned really? by the CEO. That's a bit sad. Yeah, at least no one's going to get in trouble. Do you, have a, you must have had a couple of beers. Huh? They had a couple on Saturday night. Yeah. Um, yesterday was Father's Day, so I was home yourself, with the little fella. Yeah, yourself? times have changed for me, mate. Did you dress old. up? Nah, no dressing no up dressing now. Up. Yeah, mate, you dress up and the next thing you know, you're in the front page of, or back page of Daily Telegraph and... Just don't need that heat, bro. Yeah, someone you? like oh. Reedy would have done a story oh, on you Reedy's saying it's inappropriate. Been hiding in the bushes across <laughs> the road. Reedy was ringing me where he's at. So. <laughs> have, we ever, um, have we ever asked you your best costume you wore to a Mad Monday? Have we ever asked him that? Oh, what is it? What was your best costume mm. you wore? Putting you on the spot here. Probably Scooby-Doo. I wore Scooby-Doo ones at Tigers. <laughs> well, see, we, at Tigers was good because obviously it, well, it wasn't good, but we, we knew we weren't making the eight about four or five weeks to go, <laughs> so we had a lot of planning time. That's good for the and Tigers, and, uh, four or five no, weeks to go. Not a good, but a lot of us... We were really close there. Like, we all went to school together or we come through the Cubs system. So the boys did get around it. You know, we had a, a good couple of days planned. It's any, changed completely any, now. any wild Mad Mondays you've been at? Yeah, heaps. But I'm not going to talk about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'd Maybe love to take you on one, Reedy. Oh, no. I Maybe can't off drink, air. Mate. No phones allowed. Maybe okay. we should have a Mad Monday with uh, yeah. Monday Scrum. We are, aren't we? Are I think we we've planned a, it. We're have a You're in charge. You're the oh, chief. Ch- oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, I don't mind that. Event planner for the so Monday Scrum. All four of us and Chica. Yep. Chica's in. Beautiful. Gets, gets very loose, Chica, on the oh, <laughs> I think We better just... keep it hush hush because uh, I think Del will try and hijack oh, yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> we'll just have to, that day we'll have to get in, get out. <laughs> Big Del's not invited. <laughs> not with those shorts he's got on. <laughs> Big Del today is wearing leopard skin short shorts. Oh, you know what? You know, they're, no, but they're actually Michael Crocker's, he's part of, owner of that, the brand, what they're yeah. making, Dukies. I like them. Yeah. I'm going to get a pair. They're nice. Are they too small for Del? Maybe we should all have to. That should be our dress up. We all have to wear one one pair of them. Do you, do you reckon I'd be able to pull off a pair of... Uh, I reckon you would, Reedy. Yeah. Northern Beaches, walking mm. down Manly. Walking down a freshy beach. Oh. Oh, I reckon yeah. you should wear them in boot camp. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sure. Well, Reedy and I are also trying to get in shape for the World yeah. Cup tour. So we're training yeah. and... Just get your arms ready. You trying know. to cut down the drinking. 5.30 a.m. this morning. Feeling? Jason Ty, Manly Beach training. Boom. Well done. Yeah. What did you do? What was the hardest part? Oh, it was a lot of running this morning, including a bit of running on the sand. That hurts. Yeah. How's the calves? I got very dodgy calves. <laughs> My calves have gone so many times over the years, but they held up, They held together this morning. Well, keep it going. What did you do, Em? What were you? I did um, a PT session, just okay. some uh, strength stuff. you got stuff. a personal trainer. I do. Look at you, big bucks. Yeah. She's your trainer, Chris. I reckon Chris would... would. <laughs> It's only because I've had two hip reconstructions, so I can barely do anything. Okay, right. So I've, I train like a nana. Okay. But that's all right. Yeah. Getting keep pumped moving. up. Got to keep moving in. Keep moving, getting pumped up for the finals because I tell you what, mm. I think this is probably, I'd say, the best final series we've had in a while. A couple of blockbusters. So Penrith, Para, Western Sydney, Derby to start, Cronulla, Cowboys, Melbourne Raiders, and then. The biggest big rivalry in rugby league, Roosters, Rabbitohs. Which one are you most looking forward to, Woodsy? Um, probably Melbourne and Canberra because we're going down to call <laughs> that one. But um, look, honestly, I'm looking forward to all of them because, you know, Penrith, Para, what about that rivalry? The Western Sydney, you know, both hate each other. Last time Cleary played was against them. He got suspended and first game backs against them. And you can't go past, obviously, the Sunday game. You know, that was a warm-up last week. And, you know, the first 40 minutes was – played it that intense and then you know obviously the second half they sort of you could tell they looked after themselves this week's going to be unbelievable you know Radley's back Swiley's back um you know I reckon Latrell will come out and play a lot better Murray hopefully doesn't get knocked out straight away again so it's going to be a huge game and then you know Sharks back Shark Park Mm. against Cowboys second versus third how good is it I reckon the measure of these finals is it wouldn't surprise me in any of these games if any team won like yeah, most there's, week, no, there's no most favorites. Weekends, I don't can, reckon there's any favourites. You can pick it, but well, you know, Canberra's got a great record in Melbourne. Unbelievable. Parramatta's won their lot two this year against Penrith. Uh, I thought South finished stronger than the Roosters yep. on Friday night. Um, and the Cowboys, I mean, the Cowboys is the one game. They haven't travelled well this year. Did yeah, but Sydney, I, the Cows? I still think they've got it. You know, they're, they've gone through that little bit of a low period after Origin. But, you know, given those players, you watch the game on the weekend, they played against the understrength Penrith side. He got to, Toddy got to rest, you know, Tamalalo, Valentine Holmes. So I think they're going to come out fired up. This will be a really good game. Mm. Well, on Sunday for the blockbuster, possibly a few, well, definitely Joey Manu missing. Yep. How much of a blow is that? Oh, a massive blow for them. I mean, Joey's probably the, well, he's the best centre in the world, Joey Manu, isn't he? He's nearly the best player at the moment. Yeah. So he's a huge loss for them. And it'd be interesting to see what they do because 
because there, there's options there, right? They could bring Suwali into the centres, but I don't know whether I, you would, I would do move that. Him. I wouldn't move him. He's been him. so good on the wing. I think Tupu's a chance of playing as well. So you got Tupu and Suwali on the wings yeah. and Tedesco bringing the ball back. That's been working. So, that's been setting their yeah. sets off so good in, in the last six or seven weeks they've been winning. So why would you change it? It's certainly, I mean, it, what, where it hurts him is Joey just, he's got sort of a roving commission, hasn't he? Yep. He just turns up all over the mm. field now and... Not many players can do what he d- he does as well as he d- he does it. So, I mean, it's a massive out for them. But they'll get Radley back, and Radley's obviously huge for them. Um, and Jared should be fine. I mean, he only had that uh, was the car was it the car for the hamstring? Hamstring, yeah. sorry. They just said tight, didn't they? Yeah, and yeah. He, and he was he we were there, him. He was warming up in front of us yeah. and looked for about ages. He, he was stretching out in the side yeah. and looked as though he could have come back on if they really needed him. So I reckon Jared will be fine. What about Verrills? He's a big one because they don't really have a backup nine. They got to get Hutchison to play nine sometimes. So again, he, I think he's fine. They said he could. Well, Connor Watson can. But I reckon his yeah. his role at lock off the bench yeah. has been enormous. Pickle, yeah. Like it's just been a different dimension to their game. They said Verrills could have come back on yeah. as well. I think he should be. He should be right. He should be fine. So Vera so, should be sweet. Jared should be sweet. Yeah. Tupo, maybe. Yeah, I read touch today. And go, he's touch yeah. and go. And so. Bradley back yeah, as Bradley, well. Yeah. So that's but, big. But again, Joey's a monster. Loss I tell you what, him. it could be. It could be because um, they were saying it two to three weeks out for uh, Manu. Imagine if he comes. They make the grand final. And it's a Willy won't he play for the grand final. Gives us That's what it might be. We love that. It Gives might be the Cooper about. Cronk from 2018, 19. I'm bad with that stuff. Terrible. The Can year, the year the that years. it was Cronk watch. Yeah. It might yeah. be that 19. again. 19. Okay. Well, according to Reedy, they can't win the grand final. So he's put it <laughs> on. This could be the first year we've got a team South outside the top four. I think well, South will beat them. I honestly winning. think it's going to be, the game's going to be a lot closer than what people think. You know, I, I you know, you watch the game the other night, Latrell, for me, just looked like he wanted to go through it. But the, the bigger the game is, the the better the player. And then I think Latrell's, this is going to be his game. Yeah. And I think if a South you took a lot out of the end of that game. 100%. They, because, could have, they could have put their arms down and got beat by 30 or 40, yeah. but they still had a chance. You know, it was up until they missed touch from the penalty, they were still into it. Yeah. There was still like three minutes to go there. So, mate, they, the resilience they showed on the weekend, and don't forget their coach wasn't there too. And they had no Damien Cook. No, no Campbell Cam, Graham. And Cam Murray missed the majority of the that's 75 a, minutes. That's a big one, Campbell Graham, because you look, he would have been up against Manu. Mm. So, and defensively, he's he's one of the best defensively centers in the competition. So he's a huge in. And we spoke to Cameron Murray this morning. Um, he be sweet. And look, he said he's got to see the, the independent doctor, which will, uh, independent but neurosurgeon, you know what, what, we'll see this week. The Sunday game's perfect for them now. Yeah, gives him more time. 10 day turnaround. Yeah. And he said that Cookie will be back, obviously, because yep. he only had COVID. And Campbell Graham, he said he'd be back as well. So stick those three guys back in that team. It's a completely different and side. you can pretty much say, like you said, Murray didn't play the whole game. Mm. So that's going to be huge. Not bad. This could be the one to look forward to. Yeah. Well, the... hopefully they get a monster crowd again. Yeah. And it looks as though they will. I'll tell you where they won't get a monster crowd. Mm. I know this gets you fired up, Reedy. Mm. It, Woodsy loves it, but playing a home final at Shark Park. Ridiculous. Which can fit how nearly 12,000. Ri- I don't get how it's ridiculous. It holds 11,500 Yeah, but people. they've come second. Well, it's not the point. But that, that's that's what the, the bonus about coming first or second is. You get to play a home semi-final. I understand that. What I'm saying is it should they sh- it, it should change. The rule needs to change. They need to look at it and change it. Why? For more money for the game? Yes. And because because of the... But um, I'm looking from a club, from a player's perspective. You play it at... I don't know, it's Penrith Park mm. or Shark Park. Teams hate going there to play against those sides. That's a massive benefit for them well, that's straight away. It's a, it's a poor ground. So otherwise, that's what I'm really, saying. Then so teams, there's no real incentive to finish first or second. Exactly. To What's the incentive fourth? to finish first and second? Because then? if you get a no, second, I've got, I've got an answer. Oh, here we go. Oh, what, you want to okay. play okay. at like okay. Allianz or no. Acor? So if you play at Allianz or Acor, right? Yeah. You get a lot more people through the gates. You get a lot more money into the game. So what you do is you pay you, your prize money goes up for finishing first. So where you finish in the top eight. That, teams the don't want money. They want to win a comp. Exactly. You get more <laughs> money to win the comp. comp. You get more sponsors on board. Well, you get more good players. Enough, you win yeah, the but comp. you get more players want to come to your comp, if you're your good, team. The best team will win the comp anyway. What's the matter? What's if the matter? Oh, but but for, what's the incentive the club, of finishing first or second? I just told you. You get a home for You get um. You um, don't get a home no, final. No, sorry. You get uh, double chance the finals and under my plan, yeah. you get a lot more prize money. No, nah, it doesn't work that way. The no. players anyway. You speak to any team, they'd hate going to Penrith Park or Shark Park to play. That's pretty much, not, not as a guaranteed win, but it just puts that doubt in the opposition. It's embarrassing for our game, Woodsy, that we're playing those games at those grounds. I don't think it is. Cronulla's 11 after, it's a building site. 
That's the best part about it. They're going to go in there and they're going to love it. It's the finals. You can't be playing the finals. But that's the reward. They, that's grounds. the reward they get for finishing first or second reading. The game's bigger than that. The game's bigger. Well, then maybe than the, the you know so the maybe the Roosters should have finished first or second. Beyond that, yeah. But for the first week, exactly. I'm with you. Yeah. I think there needs ga- to be I think some our incentive. game has outgrown uh, suburban stadiums for finals. I think the game's beyond that now. No, I, no, think, I, I think it's embarrassing that. that you play a game at a ground that holds a finals game. Not for the game, first week. Not for the first at a ground week. That holds a, and then you lock out 20,000 people but on then, Friday night. But then, hold on. What is the limit? It has to be – it would have to then be – because just say Combank. So then, yeah, so, so, yeah, so it's well, like I'm Eels, with, I'm Eels get – 30,000, that's big enough. So, so what, Eels, that Roosters that and court? Rabbitohs can. So. No, well, so, no, Eels, well, the exceptions are Brisbane and North Queensland. They're the only teams and Melbourne. because There should the, be no exception in all the So teams. it's pretty much You've half the team. Can't. You can't have an exception. You've got to have the same thing for everyone. No, you don't. Just because you're from Queensland, these, that <laughs> means doesn't get, they get no reward for finishing first or second. They do. They get to play in Sydney. Oh. They get to play in Sydney. And, and what they should do is they should say to Penrith fans, you get first. So well, then, you know what, for Queensland, you should say, all right, Cowboys, you play at Suncorp then. Use one venue. See no. them. Yeah. See. No, I disagree with that. See, there you but go. But what I'm saying is we'll you should in. say to. Pen- so there are essentially, you're saying half of the competition get to play at home, but the other half don't. No, they get to this play is where you make Sydney. up your own rules now. No, that's the joke. They get to joke. play in Sydney. So what, what I'm Newcastle, saying is. If Newcastle finished there, do they play at Acor? They play at Newcastle. Why are they going to be different then? Because they're in, they've got their own city. If they're in their so own the, city. It's going to end up half the competition would be able to. No. Yeah, so Roosters, Rabbitohs, Newcastle, Canberra, Canberra, Melbourne, Sun, um, Broncos, um, Para. So you no, nearly not para, no para. So you saying Para? Para can't. don't don't play at Combank. They got to even play though at, they can fit thirty thousand. So you yes. only want to play at Allianz or a core? No, I'm saying other teams can play at Combank. They don't because it's their home ground. They don't so get you to got play too there. many rules, man. Yeah, this is. You're losing yourself in it, mate. Anyway, okay. You're anyway, losing I it. think it's fast. Okay. Change thinking, the rules. Mate, please. Anyway, I don't think it's going to happen because we okay. asked Andrew Abdo about it today and he didn't seem keen on the Nor idea. should it happen, Reedy. Well, then, if it's not going to happen, they need to fix up those grounds. Yeah, they need to find a way that. to make Shark Park a better or Points Bet Stadium. Well, why are they just giving Penrith 300 million to do that oh, stadium? That's why a they very good people? question. That's, a, that's another debate. That's another that. point. So we're ripping down Penrith Stadium because it's so bad, yet we're still going to play a finals game there. It's so bad we're ripping the ground down. You know why, Reedy? Because they finished what about, first. What about Leichhardt Oval? Why aren't we fixing that? Because oh, we won't play a semi-final there, Reedy. <laughs> Terrible <laughs> ground. <laughs> Terrible ground. Anyway. It's not, mate, it's the best ground in the world. Awful ground. You're kidding. You mate, should we... be barred from going there by <laughs> saying that. <laughs> oh, mate, I'd happily not go there after watching them uh, on Sunday. Embarrassing. Yeah, it was a bit embarrassing. Like your Broncos. Anyway, we'll get on to that later. No finals for the Tigers. No finals for your Broncos. No finals for the Seagulls. Mm. And Desi's under a bit of pressure. Reedy, what is the latest there? A little bit of pressure, yeah. Um, Well, there's going to be some meetings this weekend. uh, And Des will obviously be involved in those meetings. I mean, uh, you know, at the heart of the issue is Des has got a year left on his contract with uh, Manly. um, And his management for some time now have been trying to get that contract changed and get him an extension. Uh, And the club's saying to him, no, we're not giving you an extension. You've got a contract for next year. And whether you get beyond that will hinge on how the team goes next year. And also, we're not happy with how you've gone this year, so we need to see some changes. So um, basically where it's at is Des will have a meeting this week with the club. I suspect the club will say to Des, Des, you need to make some changes and your coaching staff in footy footy department. Um, and so, gonna... so what sort of changes do they want, Reedy? Well, I think they want changes to the the, the training staff. Yep. Uh, look, I think there's going to be some changes with his coaches anyway, because I think Chad, there's a rumor Chad Reynold, Randall's about to go to Canterbury. He's been linked with Canterbury. Okay. Uh, Michael Monaghan's having a look around from what I understand. Yep. Um, so there'll be some changes in the coaching setup there. Um, but the issue is whether Des is happy with the other changes the club wants. And we know Des, right? Des is very much his own man. Um, he likes to run the show. Yep. But the club, I think, wants to... Excuse me. Take some power away from Des, and it'll be, it'll Des' future will hinge on how he responds to that. And what about like so? Sorry, what about the senior players? Are they happy w- with Des from what you've heard? Or? Well, we've seen Tommy. Tommy's come out today, and um, well, isn't that a big tick of approval for the board? Normally, nine times out of ten, the players are disgruntled or angry. Mm. Well, that that will have a that will play a part in it all. I mean, look, I don't think they want to necessarily sack Des now. They just right? want to give him the opportunity to see how he performs. They, they want to see the team perform next year because they think the team's underachieved this year. So they want to see the team go better next year before they reward him with a new deal. I think you've got to remember that the year before they had a player, Tommy Turbo, had one of the one of the best years you've ever seen from mm. an individual. 
He, how many games would he have played this year? Not many. That's what I'm saying. So if you had him for 90% of the games, I think it's a different. Jakey missed a bit of footy too. Jakey missed a lot. He also had origin commitments. Mm. DC, a couple of games he missed through origin. It's very hard, you know, to, to back up those years. And, and the players like Turbo who had those incredible seasons, they've become watched from other teams so much. So, um, you know, I reckon they'll, if, he can get, if they can keep Turbo on the field for as much as possible next year, it will definitely get Des reinstated or uh, extension. Is it fair to say their season, like they were there and abouts, but after the yep. pride drama, their season completely unraveled? Well, it 100%. did, but I think what I think what they happened, haven't won a game since then. But I think what happened there, Woodsy, is I think there were already some cracks in the place, um, and and some personalities that weren't mixing, and when that happened, it just it just completely shattered it all. So those cracks just became chasms. But you can just tell from outside in. You know, I've seen the other day on. Social media, Marty Taupow, the highlights package of him yeah, getting yeah. skipped. You know, that never comes out in the playing group. Mm. So obviously mm. people are disgruntled, they're not happy. Yeah, well, I think, it's, as I said, there's going to be some meetings this week. I think the club's already spoken to the Trebojevic boys and DCE. Um, you know, I think they've spoken amongst themselves. And I just think everyone realises things have got to change. Something's got to change next year um, because they can't have a year like this year. And you know the Trebojevic boys really well. Great fellas, They yeah. love that club. They love Des too. And all they want to do is win... Win with that footy team. They exactly. don't want to go anywhere. Would you? Well, here's one for you. Would mm. you change captain from Cherry Evans to Jakey? Well, I don't know. I, I just know what you hear, and that is that some people there would like Jake to be captain. For me, he's the heart and soul of, of Manly. You even uh, when I'm watching Manly play or, or watching on on the broadcast, he's the last bloke speaking in the huddle, and just the way he speaks, he gives you goosebumps, and you just want to play for people like that. It's very hard, though, Woodsy, when you've had a guy who's like Daly who's been captain for so long. He's your highest paid. Or it doesn't matter if you're still highest, highest but maybe, maybe they just you say co-captains. Co-captains, yeah. Let Jakey do all the talking and that. And then if, if Cherry Evans wants to front all the media stuff, do that. Mm. Cherry is very good at that. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. He's, you know, well, that would, pro- that would probably be the easy way around it. But is that just, I wonder whether that's just sort of um, taking the soft option. Because the other thing is, Cherry has always got other commitments. He's got Australia. He's got Queensland. You know, Jakey obviously only played one or two Origins this year, so he's always going to be there. Yeah. You want someone that's going to be the face of the club in front of that's going to be there and for their best interest, and he's a local boy of that area as well. Yeah. Well, there's no doubt there's some people who'd like to see him as yeah. captain of that footy team, um, but it's a difficult conversation. Right? Oh, it's hard, mate, 100%. Like, if Cherry still thinks he can do it, then I don't see why he doesn't do it, but if the club want to make a couple of decisions... Is that something that you look at? But maybe, I mean, maybe co-captains is the yeah, well, is the easy, exactly. the logical thing to do, right? You name them both captains. That way you just share the responsibility. And You could do five captains um, like the Tigers used to. Yeah, that worked really well. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we'll wait and see. I think this week's a really – they got their presentation night tonight. Are you uh, crashing that? <laughs> no, no. I don't think radio will get it loud there, no. would you? Oh, from I'm a, Northern, I'm you're okay. a Northern Beaches local. There's a nice spoke on Saturday. I've made, dinner, I made Desi years. aware the story was coming out. He knew it was coming. <laughs> We're all, we're all good. <laughs> oh, well, you know, he was okay. No one's we're all good. But the people at the club, I spoke to, before we did the big story on Sunday, Monday, I spoke to the key people about it and just just to let them know it was coming out. Um, and, you know, the, I, not, I wouldn't thought they were overly happy about it, but at least um, we sort of made them aware and gave them a chance to give us their views. Yeah. Um, and I don't, I don't think it was any surprise to anyone. I think, you know, people within the club knew there were issues there. Well, when and when you don't make the eight, a lot, of, a lot of stuff comes. But when you lose seven games in a row, exactly, it's Especially, pretty clear there's some, there's yeah. something going on. Anyone, if you don't make the eight, they're going to ask questions. It happens at our club. You know, there's yeah. a lot of media with Hook and you know, and Ben Hunt if he's going to stay or go. It just that's what happens in rugby league. You know, you you're not going to get through a season and and think you're going to get through it if you don't make the eight. There's always going to be questions asked. The Eels finished fourth, and there are still questions about Brad, Brad Arthur. Arthur. So of exactly course, right. the team in the bottom eight is going to be getting questions. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. there'll be a lot of question marks over the Tigers Ooh. over the the off season. What do they do? Can the likes of Papali'i, Corusau, Cheensy, and Benji can they really turn them around <laughs> in a season? Can like, you imagine what, what those blokes were thinking yesterday? Watch if they were watching that game, Papali'i and Corusau. Can you imagine what was going through their head? They want to. Well, Papa Lee already said he hasn't fully committed yet, mm. and he said he was going to wait until after the Eels. You can't, well, he signed the contract, hasn't yeah. he? Like, yeah. Like, what about the Tigers? They've got to sign someone, so. But he's uh, going there. You imagine watching? Watch. Can you uh, imagine if it was you, Woodsy? Yeah, you'd have there? you'd have your thoughts on it, but mm. it's just a 
Yeah, I know. Coruscant's probably happy that he's at Penrith at the moment. You know, they've finished first. Yeah. But he's probably thinking, like, you know, when they signed at the time, I think he signed under a different coach in, in Madge as well. So he might be thinking, what have I got myself into? But, you know, he might be a player that might be in, looking forward to the challenge. Mm. It might be, I reckon I can get there and change what we've got and really help this side. Reedy, how Sheenzy has said multiple times it's a rebuild and don't expect results overnight, but how long until the Tigers can expect success or a finals appearance even? Like, do you see them making the finals next year just based no on... No way. Oh, okay. No <laughs> way in the world. What I find hard as well is that, so they've made the decisions mid-year, you know, obviously with Madge going, Benji's coming in. Um, so Benji's assistant, Robbie's assistant, and Sheen's his coach. You still got the two assistants that are there at the moment in Kalis, Kalis and I can't remember the other one's name. Gardner, uh, ben yeah, Gardner. Ben Gardner. Yeah. He's there. And then is the whole is the performance staff staying? Are they going? No one knows. So there's a lot of question marks there. And probably the last thing at the moment is with a lot of the people there. The last thought is rugby league. They're thinking about their futures, their selves. Yeah. There's a lot of players that are off contract. There's a lot of innuendo in, in, in behind the scenes. Is this player staying? Do they want him? Do they not want him? There's just so much not – and that's not even talking about rugby league yet. So there's a lot of, you know, we call it head noise in, yeah. in rugby league world. So going into the games is probably the last thing they're thinking about is playing rugby league. They're probably thinking about their futures. They're thinking about what's coming, what's yeah. going. Am I part of the plans? Am I not? So there's a lot of dramas there. They just – now the season's over, they need to really work hard on just dutting it out and just getting what – they need to fix the solution. Whether Sheenzy comes in, he wants this player or not, they need to be told and then they just need to move forward. Mm. Mm. But they've got some huge decisions to make in, in terms of personnel. But for me, the, the mm. biggest thing yesterday was they're playing at Leichhardt. If it was Leichhardt or Campbelltown, to go in 42 nil at half time with the crowd booing you. Mm. you know, yeah, that's, player, that that, that's what, sort of just, it's probably the most disappointing thing is getting booed at either Leichhardt or Campbelltown because that's the spiritual home grounds. And yeah, it's quite frustrating to see that. Yeah. Time will tell. You were there, if they Reedy, can turn how it was around. it? If Reedy was the one booing, actually. <laughs> <laughs> he was, was pretty booing bad. Of the it was pretty he wanted bad, to get back uh, to Northern Beaches. Yeah. It was pretty bad watching that first because some of the defence and some of the tries were just em- it was just embarrassing. Yeah, the strap, the middle one, I think. Completely even embarrassing. Like, the, the kick back on the inside um, for the fullback, it's just no one was contesting the ball and he just scored untouched. That was yeah. just like. Uh. They're just so far off being a finals team. And you know, I know Benji's trying really hard, from what I hear in the back, behind the scenes, to try, try and um, but I think, I think their recruitment. But I, I, but I think what, what the, a lot of people don't understand and what will be really good for the Tigers is Tim's a, a, a skills coach, a development coach. He'll teach them how to play rugby league. Mm. You know, a lot of the clubs I've been at, uh, they just expect you to have your core skills, you can pass left to right, reading defence. That, that's what Tim teaches people really well on how to play the game. Mm. So I think he's going to really, he's going to help them, whether if they can make that or not, I don't know. But I think they're going to be a real good thing. And then having blokes like Robbie there, he's, you know, him and Cameron Smith are the two best hookers I've played with. Um, and ha- when I played with Robin Benz, they were like having coaches on the field at one time. You know, they see things other coaches don't. Um, they, before you even get into the tunnel and up, they talk to you about where we can be better for the second half, you know, aspects of the game that we've got to improve on while on the run, where some clubs wait to get up there and wait for what the coach has got to say. But Woodsy, they got, the squad's got to get better. I mean, that squad's so far off being a finals team. Yeah, I know, I know, but no, I they think need to, they need to find, they've got a lot of young kids there, but they've got Coruscant coming. You know, yeah. I think he's going to be a big boost for them in the middle. He, he, he's undervalued, I reckon, at Penrith at the moment. You know, they always talk about Cleary. They talk about Edwards at fullback. They talk about Luai. What Cleary does, his deception, defensively, he's very solid. And like I said, the deception, he picks the right times to go to Nath, picks the right times to go to Jerome. And then other times, he, a lot of the forwards, he brings them onto the ball and gets them over the advantage line every time. They need to sort out what they're doing with their spine as well. Exactly. I mean, and that's what I said to you. Once the season's over now, so yeah. they've got all the time in the world. They need to make the decision early so they can get the players they want now. You know, they've got question mark over Brooksy. Question mark over the fullback. You know, what are they doing well, with Charlie Dewey? Charlie Staines is coming. So Charlie Staines, so It looks yeah. like he's coming. So I don't know what that means for Dane Laurie. That's what I mean, Laurie. So what are they going to do with Dewey? Are they going to play him at centre, 5'8"? Well, you know, where are they going to play well, these players? They seem in no rush to re-sign Adam Dewey. Yeah, Jock Madden. Is well, he going to Penrith? Is he staying? Well, did, did I see him get a farewell? Did they put him up as a farewell yesterday or not? I, sure, I swore. Oh, uh, I left with a few minutes. To oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, great supporter, Emma. Out and disgusted. <laughs> I had a Father's Day dinner. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, I'd... you know, there's Brooksy. You mentioned Brooksy. There's do, There's Jackson Hastings. Yeah, Hastings. Who, I forgot about Hastings. Is Hastings, Hastings going to be the lock or what? Is he going to well, be there? I spoke like, to Jackson yeah. yesterday and I think um, he's accepted now he'll be the lock next year. 
So we were that from far Manu Brown's been going all right a yep. lot too. Yeah. So it's in Jackson wants to stay. I mean he loves he loves being at that joint. So I mean they've got to obviously make a decision, but you know obviously he's only got one year left on the deal. So they've got they need some... to get another back roll too because they've got they've losing both in, in Ghana and, and Ghana. Kelma. So yeah. they've only got Papa Lee coming in. Man, there's a lot to do there. Well, Ooh, and interesting, yeah. I mentioned in the commentary yesterday. They wanted to keep training. Tim wanted to take over basically today, take over and coach them through to Tim, Benji, and Robbie when it, we're going to take over today. That's the best and coach then, them through to the, the grand, grand final. final. Awesome. They used to, but they were told you couldn't do it. Why? You're not allowed. Oh, that's... once the season's over, your players have got to go on holidays now. They used to. You can't do we it used anymore. To do that there. They used to yeah, we used keep to training. Time, you yeah. can't do it anymore. As a so, players' perspective, that's awesome because you get, you come back a bit later. You don't yeah. have such a long preseason. They were told no. Players Union in the NRL, no. It's yes. also a hard year too because you've got the World Cup. Yeah, yeah. okay, fair enough. Yeah, so and a lot will be missing through that. There's so much yeah. going on there. Yeah. So basically they'll wait till November 1 or whatever and they'll take take over them when the guys yeah, get Yeah, they'll back. get the young kids back first yep. and then I think you get six, seven or eight. Hmm. There we go. All right. Well, to finish off our finals edition of the Monday Scrum, it better be a great finals edition of Reedy's segment. Read about it. Read about it. Reedy's Mail. Let's start, let's start in Melbourne with a bit. Yes. We talked a bit of injury news let's earlier. Let's start in Melbourne with a bit of injury news. Jerome Hughes, uh, Jesse Bromwich was at the um, uh, media day this morning, media morning. Uh, Is that why you're dressed so well? Because you yeah. came from the media morning. It's a little yeah. bit uh, crunched up, but ready. Yeah, I didn't iron it. you got to iron it, man. <laughs> Is it too? Uh, I was uh, Nicolucci was bagging me. He said it was too. Don't, um, don't let Nicolucci bag was, you. I've seen what no, he wore. No bright. I was too white. You should no, see no, it. no. I, it looks very fresh and clean. Oh, thank it you. probably just needs an iron. That's Nico's it. a dribbler. That's Fair dinkum. Matt Nico was, was in our sheds after the game. Was he? Oh. Nico. I say, mate, you're not in the tiger also, sheds. Also, Friday night at Allianz had a shirt with holes in it. Just <laughs> <laughs> such a grub. But not, he would have been hanging around. Too it wasn't in the sheds. supposed to happen. You no, know he was hanging around. For? He was in there later than I was. He was hanging for a fee fee. He's trying to get a free beer. Yeah, hundred percent. He loves. I a said, beer, sorry, mate, we're going back to the Leeds Club for a beer. Is it a mouth for Nico loves a beer. Oh, tell us something we didn't know. Um, anyway, Jerome <laughs> Hughes. Uh, look, he's a fifty-fifty. Ch- he's fifty-fifty at the moment. Jerome Hughes. He has no certainty to play on Sunday, uh, against, or Saturday against Saturday. Canberra. Saturday. Um, and if that's the case, that is a huge out if he doesn't play against uh, Canberra. That's massive. They need him desperately. Huge. If there's no Jerome Hughes, Munster's still going to be full you, back. Would you be putting money on Canberra? I, I'd lean towards Canberra with no yeah, Jerome I, Hughes. I, I still think it's 50-50 with Hughes playing. Mm. So it's a massive out if he's out. He's You saw on the weekend against Parramatta, they looked just a little bit lost at times in the game and they looked like they were just going to Munster a little bit too much. Mm. So, yeah, it's a big one. Another bit of team news, Taylor May. And this is an interesting one because you remember last week Taylor May was found guilty of that yeah, assault yep. charge. And the NRL, NRL is investigating that at the moment to determine whether um, he is charged or he is suspended or not by the NRL. Now, they've got to name their side tomorrow. I spoke to Andrew Abdo about that today. He said they're still looking at it. They haven't. Um, at the moment, Taylor May will be allowed to play this weekend, but it's still under review from the integrity unit at the NRL. And no decision has been made. So, um, while ever that is the case, there will be a question mark over whether Talon May, May plays this weekend for Penrith. So, uh, he would be a huge help for them. But would it be sorted this week? Well, Andrew, because could, it's Andrew, a bit unfair if you'd rather him just say they make the. You'd rather him miss this in the prelim hmm. if they yeah, win. So, so, what happens if it's not sorted this week? Is he allowed to play still, or they? He would still play. Well, if it's not sorted this week, I imagine they will name him and he'll play. And then what happens if it gets sorted after this and then he gets dropped for well, a then, Yeah, then you can't miss, play the prelim. Then he might be yeah. able to play the prelim if they win. That's pretty – that's big. That's I mean, massive, just, yeah. He and Isaac Tungo have been yeah. unbelievable. Incredible. So I'm sure Penrith is pushing to get a, some sort of resolution this week because, yeah. as you said, em, they'd love. I imagine they would love to know. Yeah, because if he, if they are going to give him a game ban, you'd rather it be for this week than mm. They'd rather miss the this prelim. One, the prelim. Yeah. And he's been, I mean, he's just about, well, he's a contender for Rookie of the Year, yeah. isn't he? He's been that good for them. Oh, he's been on fire. And, you know, they lost a couple of wingers last year and mm. they gained him. So unbelievable. I reckon he would have got it if it wasn't for Nenai. But yeah, what a player. Just one more on your man, Benny Hunt. What's happened now? Well, the season's over now. So yep. the, the focus will now fall on Ben Hunt and his contract situation. Yep. Uh, I'd imagine the Dragons want to resolve this as quickly as they can. Well, I think he spoke after the game and said he wanted to get it yeah. resolved as quick as possible too. So, I so mean, will it be resolved before he goes to the World Cup? I, w- I would have thought it would be one one way or the other. M. I'm sure they want to they'll, they'll want to sit down the next week or two and nut this out. And that's not for next year. That's for the year after. It's isn't for the it? year yeah. after, yeah. So you know, obviously we've spoken about it. the deals on the table. It's 1.45 over two years with the ratchet clause. It goes up to about 1.6, just over 1.6 for two years. Um, 
And uh, at the and moment, is, is that the drama, or is it just does he want to play under hook? Because I've read elsewhere that. Well, I suspect it's a bit of both. I think yep. they, his, his camp probably think he's worth a little bit more. Yep. He's obviously wanting to play under hook. And if you listen to all the mail around hook, the drums are sort of beating that he won't be there for the long term. I mean, Dean Young's the name that keeps getting to- tossed around with the Dragons, um, that he'll eventually take over from hook wherever, whenever that may be. Um, so, you know, I can't imagine there's, uh, if Hook wants to be there next year, I think he will. They won 12 games this year. That would normally get you in the finals. Um, and I think Dean's signed a new deal in North Queensland. Dean say, what about if we start off the year well next year and, you know, we're going good? I don't think it'll matter. I reckon Dean will really? be there eventually. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's my thoughts. That's, that's sort Hook of. Hook gone. Well, maybe. Hook Depends. on the way out at some point. At some point, yeah. yeah. But surely Every if we coach start off, is on the way out <laughs> yeah, at some point. You, you, as a coach, you're trying to get sacked, but mm. that's what someone said to me one yeah. day. <laughs> There's two coaches, those who've been sacked and those who are waiting right, to get yeah, sacked. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. So so really, if we don't start, like if we start well, they wouldn't. Well, I don't, I, I don't, no, no, yeah, that sorry, I don't yeah, know yeah. whether that'll go down that path. It probably depends. There's a few things at play. Yep. But uh, certainly Dean Young's name keeps going to link with that job. Okay. Um, you know, his dad's a chairman, so I think while his dad's a chairman, it's a bit hard because yep. that would look, you know, the appearance wouldn't be great. But certainly I think he's the guy that will eventually, they will look to eventually take over from yep. Anthony Griffin whenever that may be. Okay. There we go. Lots to get through, even mm. aside from the teams that are playing the finals. So yep. it's going to be a good well, week. Often the teams who miss the finals are the ones who are under the most attention. Yeah. True. Really There's always a, a rugby league story. Where are you this week? I'm going to Cronulla Ooh. and the punters will be into me because I've said because the game shouldn't them? be played yeah. there. I hope they give it to you. Are you going to Allianz on Sunday? I've got Ooh. a couple of mates of mine go down there. I'm going to tell them just to throw some pies at you or something. <laughs> and then Big Woodsy has got the trip to <laughs> Melbourne. Yeah. Yeah. And you're down there as hey, well. You're yeah. there but I'm flying back, so I'll be behaving, oh, but we'll have to. Well, I've got Big Dell down there I know, so we need so. to get some <laughs> security guards following you guys around Melbourne. We've got Maroon. Right? Maroon's like our dad that's going to help us I might get the paparazzi out. Let's hope there's no scandals, eh, next week on the Monday Scrum.